Hey guys, what's up and welcome to the channel. So this channel was started because of these three right here. These are my three Roddies. This is Kenai, Fluffy, and Kita. These are, uh, these have been my dogs. Kita has been my, been around for about three years. She's just a little bit over three. I've had her since she was eight weeks old. Kenai is five years old now, and Fluffy is Kita's son, and he is 18 months old this month. So, just a year and a half old, and he's a big boy. He's weighing in at about 130 pounds. Kenai's a little smaller. He weighs in about 95 pounds, and Kita weighs about 110. So, uh, this page was started just to kind of show you guys what it's like in the daily life of a Rottweiler. Um, some things that we do, some lake trips that we do, some tips, um, what we do as far as cleaning them, um, what kind of treats we give them, what kind of food, what kind of diet, what kind of exercise plans. Um, I just wanted to start a channel and kind of share that with you guys. So, that's what we're going to do. Thank you guys for uh, clicking on this video, and if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below, and we'll see you soon. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be talking about my favorite and top seven tricks for new, uh, veteran, or anybody who's getting into owning a Rottweiler, or somebody who's just interested in seeing what it's like. So that's what we're going to go over today, starting with tip number one, is socialize your pups early. So one tip that goes like as a sub tip to this is if you're buying a puppy um, and they ask you if you want them at six weeks, seven weeks, or eight weeks, I prefer seven weeks at the minimum, never six. Give them time to be with the litter. Give them time to get pushed around, stepped on. Um, you know, It's good for them to uh, be barked at when they're that tiny or yelped at or bit or tugged on um, or stepped on by the parents or pushed away when they're getting sick of them. It's really good for the dogs to uh, socialize at an early age and be pretty much told that they can lose. Um, kicking them around, not you kicking them around, but the parents kicking them around, um, the other uh, puppies in the litter kind of kicking them around, rolling all over them. It, it socializes the dog a lot better and that's something that I've noticed in breeding dogs uh, for about eight years now. So that's for tip number one. Okay, now we're gonna move on to tip number two, which is my favorite. Treat your dogs, especially your Rottweilers, as if they are humans because they will respond like they're humans. So everybody talks about a dog being a man's best friend. And what that means is that they know everything about you. When you had a bad day, they know it. So when you come home and you had a bad day and you take it out on your dog, they remember that. And Rottweilers being the top 10 smartest and loyal, most loyal dogs, and that's proven, they're going to remember that. They're not, they're not dumb. They remember every time that you were rude to them. And what's worse than that is next time you're in a bad mood, they're not gonna be there to have your back. So talk to them as if they're humans. Talk to them as if they're little kids and they just really don't understand. Even when they're chewing on your stuff that you left out, treat them like they're humans. Tell them that it upsets you. Be kind of sad when you talk to them and they will understand it. Huh, buddy? Huh? You understand? You understand I love you? Good boy. That's for tip number two. Tip number three is setting your dogs up for success. So nobody likes when their dog tears up their shoes. Nobody likes when their dog tears up their favorite pair of shorts or their shirt or anything for that matter. Or they get into your food. Set your dog up for success. Don't leave your shoes on the ground if you know your dog's going to get to them. Don't leave your food where your dog can get to it. It's much easier to put the blame on a puppy for chewing on stuff, but you've got to remember that they're teething, okay? So for the first year and a half, they, their, their teeth really hurt, just like they're growing and they really hurt and so they want to chew on stuff to kind of get that pain. Like when you have a mouth sore and you kind of keep putting tension on it, the dogs do the same thing. That's why they chew on your shoes. Also, something else I think they chew on your shoes is it's because it's the last thing that you put on before you leave the house, and they don't like that. So I think they chew on your shoes. Don't leave them out where they can get to. Set up gates. Uh, don't take your shoes off and put them right by the door. Um, don't have stuff on a little nightstand that they can get to that's gonna piss you off when you wake up and they chewed on all your stuff because they got bored in the night and you didn't wake up to play with them. Set them up for success, tip number three. So to piggyback off tip number three, tip number four leads us to a fenced-in backyard. Now, 
I'm not saying that you're going to be a bad dog parent if you don't have a fenced-in backyard. I understand there's some circumstances where people just don't have a backyard and they don't have anything to fence in. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about if your dog is going to be out in the yard, you need to fence it in. Okay, there's a few reasons for this. One, Rottweilers are a very, very popular breed for being aggressive because they play rough and they get way too excited sometimes with other dogs. And if another dog uh, threatens them, they're gonna fight them. And to be realistic, it's gonna happen at one point if you let your dog just run around in the neighborhood. So you need to set your dogs up for success, like I said in tip number three. Number four leads into that by having a fenced in yard for their protection your protection because you can get even criminally charged for having a Rottweiler on the loose. Um, you can have them, you know, attacking. Like even a chicken, they think a chicken's a little squeaky toy running around and they'll get a, a hold of it and bite it so hard that it ends up dying. It's a sad thing. Set them up for success by putting up a fence. Um, another thing that I like to use uh, for success for my puppies um, and even my, my older dogs as well is a doggy door. A doggy door and a fence is the easiest way to make sure that you don't have any accidents in the house and that they have plenty of time to go outside and spend outside. Now, if you're going to be home, it's going to be a little bit different of a story and that's going to lead us into tip number five. Hey guys, remember that if you're liking these tips so far, if you're liking the content, make sure to smash that like button and hit that subscribe button because we're going to be bringing content to you guys like this and answering questions that you might have about Rottweilers on this channel all day long. Tip number five goes with Rottweilers are a people dog. And now what I mean by that is if I'm home sitting on the deck, Kenai will not be in the backyard. He will be on the deck sitting with me hanging out. Um, Kita's right here with us. Fluffy's, you know, sitting right over here on the other side of the deck. But if I go into the next room, they're going to follow us. And if I go into the bathroom, they're all three going to follow me and try and squeeze in there. And the reason why is because they love people so much. We talked about them being one of the most loyal dogs, and it shows. It's, it's true to them that if their parent is home, they're going to hang out with them and they want to show you all the love and affection in the world if you want to show them the same thing. Please, please, please do not get a Rottweiler to be an outside protection dog. They are and should be an in-home loyal family member. Okay, tying into uh, tip number five, we're going to talk about tip number six. And I hope that this doesn't come off wrong, but you need to realize that you're not buying a puppy, you're buying a commitment, a lifetime commitment. Now, it might not be the rest of your lifetime, but it needs to be the rest of their lifetime. They need to go to one family. You need to make it work. Um, now, I understand there's situations where there's nothing you can do to make it work, but you need to do everything you can in your power. Um, you need to realize they're a financial commitment. Um, you've got vet visits that you're going to have to go to at least a couple a year just to uh, make sure that they're healthy um, and then they're in check. They are a large dog so they do require a little bit more. Um, smaller dogs do tend to live quite a bit longer. Larger dogs like a Rottweiler might tend to live 8 to 12 years. Um, we were lucky enough to get 13 years from Junior before he passed away last year in July on us. and. When we took them into the vet, we talked to them and they said, you know, what's the secret to keeping them so healthy? We said, diet, care, and normal vet checkups. Um, what normal vet checkups does for you is you can get any problem that they have, any cancer that might develop, any hip dysplasia, um, any distemperment, you, any, uh, anything like that. Um, you know, we just had, Fluffy had an eye cut that gradually got worse and had I left it you know he might not have an eye right now um, and that was a few hundred dollars so you gotta remember you're bringing home a family member and that you need to do whatever it takes to keep them happy healthy and panting and drooling all over the floors so that's all I've got for tip number six let's move on to tip number seven so for tip number seven we're gonna be talking about uh, temperature for dogs and where they like to be so every single Rottweiler that I've ever dealt with, which has been probably close to 100 in the time that we've been breeding, every single one of them loves water. 
Not all of them love swimming in the deep end and going out way in the middle of the lake, but all of them love playing in water because they don't like a very hot climate. They get very, very hot. They've got thick, healthy coats on them, and it just gets way too hot in the sun. They like cool in the shade, and they love water. So we have a pond in the backyard. If, uh, if you don't have access to a pond or a lake, um, we take the dogs to the lake frequently you know, it, when we can. Um, they really love to get out and play in the water, and especially on a hot day. If you can't have access to any of that or don't have any access to that, uh, give them a cool bath. Um, I use like an overhead shower and it's cool water and I wash them, we'll give them shampoo, conditioner, they really like that on a hot day, or a little kiddie pool. They're like $15, you fill them up with water and they'll be out playing in it in the yard all day long, I promise. Hi right, buddy, what you doing? Give me some love? No, no. Yeah, there it is. High five. So anyway, guys, if you guys like this video today, uh, let us know down in the comments below what you'd like to see from us in the future. Uh, we have a beautiful Rottweiler family of three puppies here. Uh, they've been in my family since they were all little tiny puppies. Fluffy was actually born here in this house. Uh, so I know everything about them. Um, I, I've had them for a long time. So if you guys have questions for us or, uh, you know, suggestions for future content let us know down in the comments below what you'd like to see thanks for logging on this video is over peace